In this video, we're going to look at frequency trees. A frequency tree is a really useful way of representing data, and it is, it's quite useful whenever you're doing an experiment, maybe you're collecting two or more bits of information. So here's a frequency tree, and it says 50 people sit their driving tests. Complete the frequency tree below. So as we can see here, we're collecting two different bits of information. First of all, how many hours of driving lessons were taken by the person, whether it was 10 or more, or less than 10 hours. And then we've got the information of whether the person has passed or failed the driving test. So we've got here, passed, fail, passed, fail. So first of all, we've got the 50 people. Now we know out of the 50 people that 34 of them have uh, taken 10 or more hours of driving lessons. That means the rest of them, well, the other 16 people, because out of the 50, 34 have taken 10 or more. Whenever you take that away from the 50, you're left with 16, who have obviously sat less than 10 hours of driving lessons. Now, if we go up the ways, we know these 34 people have sat 10 or more hours of driving lessons. Now, out of these 34 people, 28 of them have passed the driving test. That means the rest of the 34 have failed. So if we do 34, take away 28, we get six. So we know that six people have failed the driving test if they've taken 10 or more hours of driving lessons. Now, if we go down the ways, well, 50, and we go down to the people who have taken less than 10 hours of driving lessons, well, out of the 16, we know that 12 of them have failed. That means the rest of the 16 have passed. That means that four of them have passed. And there we've completed the frequency tree. So as you can see, the frequency tree sort of lays out the information. You've got how many people there were at the beginning, 50. You could then sort of go on different paths where depending on what the, you know, the options are. So the first option was 10 or more hours of driving lessons, whereas the other option was less than 10 hours of driving lessons. And then we had the information on passing and failing. And that's it. So let's have a look at another question. So this time it says 60 people took part in a talent show. It says 43 of the people were women. It says 10 people made it through to the final and the rest were eliminated. And three men made it through to the final. And it says part A, complete the frequency tree. So this one's a bit more tricky because rather than just sort of putting on the information on the frequency tree for us, we're having to sort of read a passage to fill out the frequency tree. And I think that's sort of going to be quite likely in the exam that you're going to have to do something like that, like read a passage and get the information out. So it says 62 people took part in the talent show. And as you can see, the 62 has been put there for us. So the 62 at the beginning. Now it says 43 people, or 43 of the people were women. So that means that 43 people were women. So we're going to put that in here, 43. That means the rest of the people were men. So we're going to take the 43 away from the 62 and that leaves us with 19. So 19 of the people were men and 43 of the people were women. Next, so we've got the first two bits of information sort of used. Next one, 10 people made it through to the final and the rest were eliminated. Now from that bit of information, I can't actually put anything in yet because I don't know out of the 10 how many were men and how many were women. So I'm gonna to have to read the next bit. It says three men made it through to the final. So out of the 19 men, three of them make it through to the final. Because it says three men, men made it through to the final. So out of the 19 men, we know that three of them made it through to the final, so the rest must have been eliminated, so that must be 16. Now if we go to the women, we know, well, we know that 10 people made it through to the final, okay? Now we know that three men made it through to the final, that means I mean, the rest of the 10 people must be women, so it must be seven women that made it through to the final. And to see how many were eliminated, again, if we do the 43 women and take away the seven that made it to the final, that leaves us with 36. So that means that 36 people were eliminated. Now, to check our answer, what we can do is add up these and check that it adds up to 62. So 16 plus three is the 19, yep. Uh, 36 plus seven is the 43, fantastic. And if we add the 19 and the 43, we get the 62. So we're just checking that the numbers all make sense. And that's it, so part A, draw the complete the frequency tree, we've done that. Part B, what fraction of the men made it through to the final? Now, first of all, it says what fraction of the men made it through to the final. So first of all, there's 19 men all together, so we're gonna put that 19 on the denominator. And it says uh, what fraction of the men made it through to the final. Well, as we can see, three of the 19 made it through to the final. So three 19ths of the men made it through to the final. Um, if the question said what fraction of the women made it through to the final, it'd be seven out of 43. Or if you said what fraction of the men were eliminated, it would have been 16 out of 19 and so on. And that's it. Um, so that's frequency trace. Um, they're, they're quite straightforward. You've just got to read the information carefully and just make sure you're filling in the, the right section. Um, the questions that I think are likely to happen after you complete the frequency tree will be either what uh, to do with fr what fraction of people you know done so and so, or even a probability question, which is quite similar in a way. Um, 
or something like that. Um, if you go to corbymath.com and you have a look at the frequency tree exam questions, you can see more of the types of questions which I think are likely to come up in the exam. Okay, good luck with your revision.